see how EOS behaves. I haven't, uh, haven't played with it since the most recent tweak. Uh, so let's see. Fire further and deal extra damage seems very, very good. Uh, I really don't like that. Faster and uses less. It's, it's a little tempting now that I've got death on. But I mean, I think this is just the obvious option, so... Gonna stick with that. Yeah, doing the same kind of setup where I'm uh, remapping controls. Ooh, do I want to? Oh, do I want to take the chaos? I think so. Then I get a choice over what the onion in it is as well. Saves a tiny bit of time. I was gonna get that darkness. For no reason at all. Afterward, you channel your Omega moves faster. I mean, it's nice, but... I don't think I can clear three encounters that fast. I'm, I'm pretty sure you have to run between the rooms as well. That being said, I also think... If I'm not mistaken, you'll take the 500 damage, but it'll proc the pin. Ooh, I kind of want to try it. Let's just see what happens, and then let's very stupidly take that darkness. Let's have a look around. So I know this says it pauses the timer. I'm not a hundred percent sure that this pauses the uh, uh, the thing that we just got. So just in case it doesn't, the the chaos boon. Um. I, I really just want Apollo, so I'm going to do this for speed. There we go. Okay, we let a little, little much respawn. A little too easy. Yeah, I think, I think this timeline is going to be very tight. Uh, but as soon as we can get damage, things are going to go much, much faster. Damage on the attack. So that's one encounter. We'll go straight to Apollo. Looking for the attack. Yeah, I guess the other thing is if, if we end up with a free room, presumably the, uh, the time it takes there, it doesn't pause the chaos time either. I've never had that interaction, but I'm just assuming that's how it works. Okay, give me the attack. At least give me a chance to uh, get this. Specials are fine as well, though. It's still damage. Uh, now I actually don't know where I want to go. Who's my backup? Demeter, maybe? And then we could do Medea after. Let's do it that way. Yeah, it looks like we're not at huge risk of uh, the chaos thing going off. So we should be okay for time just in general. Uh, I just gotta make sure to not die. Well, I'll lose a DD anyway. Okay, just a little longer. Yeah, I suppose even if we... Like, it's either going to trigger the pin or uh, or the pin will be active. And it will just be doing nothing to us. Uh, there we go. The attack. Works for me. Uh, Would have been optimal to die there. But that's okay. Now let's double check this. So it's Medea... Selene, I think, and health. Uh, do I just go health first? It's just a lot of running around that way. So I'll save like a couple seconds. Medea, we've already waited so long on, so there's not really that much of a difference to uh, like now versus later, I feel like. I 
I'm trying to really take note of the Daybreaker's supposedly improved pathing. It's really hard to tell, though, because I, I feel like the strat... Oh, I didn't even notice this was Artemis. I feel like the strat for uh, this weapon is to run as far away from combat as possible and spam the special, so... It, it does look like it takes much tighter circles, though. Like, I was just sort of watching it there. Playing with it uh, in the skelly chamber as well. I felt like I really noticed, but... Could just be wishful thinking. Because, yeah, it, it did take a hit to damage, right? It used to be 250, and now it's down at 150. I believe that's accurate. This isn't the last one, right? Alright, so this should be the end. Then if we can proc the pin, we'll get all the extra hell. Alright, alright. I still feel like very, very stiff. This is my first Hades run and like... Oh. Could be a little rough here. Uh-oh, what? I don't know what's going on. I can't, uh... I couldn't Omega attack for some reason. That was so, so strange. I'm sure you guys could see. I was like holding down the button. She was attacking, but I guess some sort of interaction with the pin. It like canceled the channel. Hmm. Yeah, there was something really, uh, really goofy there. Okay, we'll take pressure points. Rhymes a lot of magic, but I think that's okay. Well, that was unfortunate, really unnecessary to, uh, to lose that DD, but... Yeah, I got no idea what happened there. Um... Sure. Enemies losing armor is good. Yeah, Selene's just a really, really solid option in general, uh, on the surface, so... I feel like this is necessary to do. Even though we, we don't spend that much magic. Um, don't spend that much and... We have a whole bunch of prime. I still think it's worth. Two minutes. I mean, our time is great. Medea helps, obviously. Phase shift, too good to pass up. I mean, the other thing, we've also got uh, the Arcana card that's going to charge that over time. So it's just going to slowly tick up charge regardless. Uh, yeah, upgrade seems very good. Put that on the attack. Yeah, we're getting great damage off of this thing. Okay, so lots of time. Uh, I'm going to try to actually take advantage of the Death Arcana a little bit. Wait, why did I... It's the same thing there. My Omega somehow canceled, right? Or maybe I got the Daybreaker off that time. Oh, yeah, maybe it's just because I'm zoomed out. Yeah, yeah, I think that's all it was. Zoomed out, so I didn't notice uh, the size difference as much. Oof. Yeah, I feel like here you notice the uh, the damage loss a little bit more. Uh, the damage loss on the Daybreaker. This boss fight's just taking a little bit longer, but at the same time... The, the tracking's also... Way noticeably improved here. I, I remember having to uh, to recast it like every two seconds in my forty uh, my forty fear run. I was gonna trigger the pin, but I realized the daybreaker was just gonna kill it anyway. I mean, it's fine. It's really, really easy to trigger in the next region here. I mean, so far, uh, like I said, I feel very stiff, making tons of mistakes here, but. Uh, this has just been an absolute breeze. Just with the one little... Little misstep on the DD, but... Tons of time. It means Charybdis might not be the scariest thing ever. Not that he's got permission to show up. 
But, you know, worst case scenario. Alright, ah, don't even have enough for it right off the bat. Uh, can you kill me? Oh my fucking god. Uh, I guess maybe I can, no, I don't think I can blow myself up on the barrels there. Not, not if it's between, uh, encounters on this thing. Yeah, I don't think that counts it. I think I could do it afterwards, so, um... Because we've already got the one upgrade, I'm actually gonna go for Path of Stars. Hexes are, are just, like, really super solid now. Whoa! Okay, this Daybreaker's tracking is way more noticeable here, where you've got, like, larger areas. Damn. This thing rules. Uh, okay, I actually like... Well, I think it's a lot better. Um, I mentioned it with the phase shift changes before. Do I die here? Probably. Kill me. I think it's maybe like a two player favorite change, but. You know what? That's okay. It's not gonna actually kill me, right? Uh, 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 so that one's not great. This one is good, but it's like. We're probably not going to make our way to any of these further ones. So I'm thinking to just go duration. Starting 40% charges is just sort of okay. Well, we'll do the one second. And then I, yeah, I guess that's the other thing. It's the next best. Hmm. I guess we could do this and just have it recharge faster as well. That might be better. And then it primes us for another one second. The path across the sky. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, Medea's little curse here doing some work anyway. Gonna start seeing more and more enemies with armor, so. The ship's helm. Let's go. Another uh, attack upgrade. We'd be very happy with. Yeah, see, I still want to avoid using uh, the hex during these encounters for the most part, just because the the cast time is so long. Yeah, it still attacks over specials. I think. Uh, we'll do this for the armor. I think it's kind of nice having that first, the uh, first hit get eaten by armor. Not the biggest deal in these situations. Because a lot of times you can just, like, step and fire if you're concerned about the first hit. But makes it a little better. Okay, so this will just be an onion. But it's kind of nice to get it out of the way as well. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure how death was going to feel. I, I remember using this before and thinking I, I didn't really like the, uh, the idea of Omega specialing all that often. And I'm kind of feeling it again here. It's, it's a little tough to swap between the two Omegas. Uh, but I thought with the new death, I, I kind of wanted to try it. This was one of... Uh, I think I just go health, right? Probably. Yeah, this is one of the aspects where I... I thought maybe you could kind of squeeze death in. There's only a couple very obvious ones that benefit. I, I think Momus. There's one other one, I forget. Momus is the big one. Uh, 
Oh yeah, what is the other one? It's gonna kill me now. Probably shouldn't think too hard. But in any case, it, it was a big nerf for the axe, which is why it was like... In my head, I, I love Thanatos. Really like uh, Heron's axe. Even Malinui's, right? Just being able to do the, the spin, having like 5% crit on that was always so big. And now it's like, ah, you gotta alternate between them. Um, see, this has got to be really good with this, uh, this Daybreaker, I gotta think. I'm pretty sure I've never tried it. With Eos. Yeah, let's give it a go, because it, it's just a one-time cost of ten more. Uh, this is the... Yeah, Fountain Room. Got something good? Uh, ooh... Ooh, this is tough, actually. How much, um, I've got 65 magic, and I'll be priming 20 more if I take this, and it's 25 for the Omega attack. I still think that's okay. Yeah, I still think it's worth it, actually. The, the only worry is if you're forced into, uh, into something. Ooh, do I rush deliver this? I've got a lot of money. I don't really need a gain boon, anything like that. It's just like, eh. Shouldn't take too long. I don't have enough. Okay, well, pretty sure we don't have five encounters left. Uh, okay, right there as well. I don't know why I didn't get the, uh, Omega attack off. I swear, I swear, guys. There's something, something silly about it. I don't think it's like my controller. I don't think I'm slipping off. I swear there's like a little, a little game bug that I've had every now and then. I'd be curious if, uh, anyone can corroborate. Make sure I'm not just, like, fully, uh, in wine mode. At least that one had the indicator. It just never went off. But the time that I died, it was like not charging. And I, I think that was related to the, the pin. Oh my god, I just got hit a hundred times there. Uh, can you kill me? Uh, try again? No. Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot more shit, so... <laughs> I guess good thing. Uh, thanks, Daybreaker. Come to save the day. Nobody saw my poor pin judgment. Nobody. Okay. This should be fine, though, because now I hex. I might have actually been okay with the... Oh, my God. With the hex, anyway. We've got, like, increased time and everything. But you never know with those skulls, as well. Okay, no Carib this, but I, suddenly this was very slow. I mean, trying to proc the pin and then not right at the end there. See, like, right there, it, it seemed to, like, linger on the, the Omega as well for a little, a little long. Maybe it was just a perception thing. I, like, really want it to come out, so I'm, I'm biased. But yeah, this is going to make the Eris fight actually a little painful. God, the extra explosion damage from Icarus is just insane. I'm, I'm really curious what the the surface is going to look like in... Uh, in 1.0. It's a little rough here. Just because, like, some, some things like that... Like, Icarus and his effects. Imagine that earlier in a run for the duration of a run. I feel like that can just get, like, really out of hand. In a, in a fun way. Ooh. I think I can afford to take that, right? Once again, it's 20 magic. This is pretty brutal. Uh, but I don't really care about gaining magic. Smith God's power. 
I think here I do go special. Okay, 40 seconds. We've got phase shift, but we've got a, a good amount of damage. It's just that it's mostly like AoE damage. Uh, plus, we also had the on effect for magic there, so we're even better than we should be. Oh, well, that was not the best. Uh, not the best timing on that phase shift. I guess I I thought I'd just be able to push more damage. I didn't realize she was that close to the next uh, next phase. I think I'll still do it here there. Yeah, getting out of the uh, the channeling to dash can take a little while. Daybreaker. Okay, not too bad. It's not good. But again, we'll, we'll have the 10 seconds off the pin as well. Oh my god, that is just so big. Okay, and then I can save this for the very last phase. Oh, my Daybreaker died. Oh. Well, that was not optimal. I'll, I'll wait for... Pick up a land. There we go. Alright. Lots and lots of mistakes that run. I'm full of excuses on, uh... You know, how long of a break I took. But man, new EOS feels really, really good with that new tracking. I very much like it. And my, my specialty, ordering things to arrive right after killing Eris. So, um, yeah, the setup, uh, I don't think anything too, too crazy. Like I said, I was trying to fit in death on this one. Uh, I, I don't think it felt very good to be able to, like, swap between the two Omegas. So, I wouldn't recommend that. I, I think I would go with some rerolls there instead. Um, and the Unseen is a bit of a flex one as well. I, I was pretty close to cutting this. Um, putting in, like, uh, oh, I had Artificer. I was going to say putting in Artificer. I didn't even use it the whole time. Really out of it today, I guess. Uh, but, yeah, probably more rerolls than um, just stack them up. But uh, this one's a bit difficult. Depends how you want to run it. Uh, what you want your setup to be. I think in the underworld probably makes more sense to avoid this because you're going to end up with a gain boon almost all the time. Uh, but here, yeah, I wasn't really sure what it was going to look like. Uh, and it also helps me get divinity, which then eats my magic. And so that's kind of just how it ended up shaking out.